Welcome Hello. back. <laughs> so tonight Jess is going to tell us three ways that ChatGPT can help us in our wool business. Uh, she's got a book to share and then the chicken of wisdom will share a pearl. <laughs> so Jess, I hear you've been experimenting with chat GPT like many people have. Yes, absolutely. Use it yeah. in our wool businesses. Yeah, for sure. Like, you know, you're a bit, I was a bit skeptical at the start, like, oh no, I wouldn't use that. And then I jumped on and had a bit of a play and oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So what did you um, I've used it at, I've used it at work to, you know, generate some great questions for my lessons and all of that sort of stuff. But I thought, hang on a minute. I've got a little business I want to get going up and going here. So what can we do with Yarn Trail Victoria? Now, um, so we're just looking, learning a bit more about marketing and things like that. And just these idea of taglines and slogans and things. And, you know, I do notice on places where they've got those, those, those pithy little three word slogans or um, stuff that sort of encapsulates that idea of the business. And yeah, I so, really so mine, like I've got improve your, your wool being, improve your wool being is on my, yeah. website. is that like a slogan or a tagline? Oh, well, that's a tagline. According to what the research I've done, I'm not an expert, but you know, it's a tagline because it, it's a, the idea that you hang your business on. Mm -hmm. Whereas a slogan is more like um, a, 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 a line for, for marketing a specific product or event. But it does then say that, you know, these things can mix together. And I suppose it depends on, you know, who you are and what you're trying to do and how you define these things. But but I was going with that. So that's fine. So I've used Chat GPT to just um give me some ideas. And can then you hear some? Yes, yeah, so don't go and know if they're any good. Like, well, you know, are they are like, they as good as just do it? Like that is that a slogan or a tagline? That's a tagline. Tagline. That's a tagline. Okay. Yeah. Nike's tagline. But I so I went and sort of you know did a bit of a chat GPT on what the difference between tagline and slogan was and gave me a, a good enough article. That was fine. Yeah. Um, chat GPT is a good place to start for everything. I wouldn't you know rely on it for you know amazing detail, but it's a good place to start. Then I went find a collection of taglines and slogans for wool knitting and yarn related companies worldwide mm -hmm. and so I've got a whole bunch of you know um lion brown yarn America's oldest craft yarn company mm -hmm. um but yarn for every kind of knit and then I said oh and for Australian companies so I got the list of 10 Australian companies and then and then um and Great Ocean Road Woolen Mill was on there from the farm to the yarn shop Morrison Sons Australia's finest yarns heirloom yarns classic yarns for timeless projects those sorts of things oh wow and I said, Sure. Can you add more? And so ChatGPT said, yes, I can. So <laughs> ended so up with like new ones on its own. Are they, are they original ones it comes up with as well? Or is it all just off kind of like Googling it? Those ones are from yarn, existing yarn companies. Yeah. But then I went and put in, what did, where did it go? I put in, okay, um, Create some taglines for Yarn Trail Victoria, a business that specialises in connecting yarn producers and yarn crafters with community building events such as workshops and retreats. Now, mm -hmm. what I have learned about ChatGPT is it's all in the prompt you give it. It's all in how much information you give it and how you word what you want it to do. Mm -hmm. So that worked out quite well. So it's unwind and connect with Yarn Trail Victoria. Join the knitting community with Yarn Trail Victoria. We bring yarn lovers together at Yarn Trail Victoria. Craft your way to new friendships with yarn trail. <laughs> and on it goes. Like, wow. yeah. And, and on their own, I didn't particularly like any particular one of those, but I can see how I could use that information to sit back and go, what is it that, you know, that I want to actually say and which, mm -hmm. which bits could I take from there? And I think that that's the main value of chat GPT is it gives you something to start with and something yeah. to work on. Mm. you know so then I put in now create 10 advertising slogans and the first one was knit your way to happiness with yarn trail Victoria <laughs> and number two is join the yarn revolution with yarn trail Victoria um I'm not sure I'm starting a revolution everyone but you know that's a nice thought um and then craft connect and create with yarn trail Victoria which is which is pretty good so mm. you know um and again you, you, you would just take what you want um yeah. And, and oh, and there's then I said, create 10 slogans and 10 taglines. And so it's given me slogans like unleash your creativity at our knitting retreats. So very specifically about the retreats mm. um, or a tagline where knitting and relaxation meet. So see, that's quite general for the whole 
for the whole sort oh, of that's helpful to understand the difference between the two and how they kind of interplay yeah I think yeah. so and it's just it's just yeah, I think you know useful information it's like mm. oh okay so I can have my tagline for my business which mine is now knitting communities together um is yeah. that you or is that chat gpt that wasn't chat gpt it wasn't <laughs> me it was a friend of mine who's very clever at these things and she just said to me jess you're building communities aren't you and i said yes that's what i'd love to do and she said knitting communities together isn't it oh, obvious? it's so and I obvious thought, now, well, that, it is you now that you said it like <laughs> it was marvelous knitting communities together and then it's because it can be knitting communities together as in getting mm. people knit together or knitting communities together like you know it's so clever and it's just three words so clever I love three word things like you know I think it's just short sharp and shiny you can put it on everywhere and yours is like that improving your well-being it's just quick and easy and and it really um and you know when I've decided on that one it really encapsulates what I want to do and it means it comes back to your why doesn't it we've talked about before comes Mm -hmm. back to your why and, and what you want to do and um yeah, and look, I didn't use the chat GPT ones, but there are words in there that I will go back to and mm. maybe I can write some posts about it. Mm. Um, but the other uses for chat GPT for my business so far is that, um, well, it was actually you, Prue, that sent me that little video of somebody creating a whole marketing plan through chat GPT. So mm. I thought I might give that a go. So, and I did, and it, it didn't turn out quite the way it did on the video you sent me, Ooh. but um, I put in the, the prompt. Remember, the prompt is everything. So yeah. I wrote in, my business is a yarn-related events company. We sell experiences like workshops and retreats that aim to connect yarn producers. Um, it's called Yarn Trail Victoria. Act as though you are Yarn Trail Victoria's marketing manager. Build me a 30-day plan. It's a bit more detailed than that, but yeah. Oh, wow. And so it did. It came up with week one to find your target audience, create an irresistible lead magnet, set up a landing page, run ads, and then week two and three. Some of it I already know, so that's fine. Um, but just the reminder and having it set out in this is what you could do in four weeks. I'm like, oh, yeah, cool. Thanks. I had forgotten about that lead magnet idea. Mm. Um, so, you know, and everyone who's, who's wondering, a lead magnet is... Um, a thing that you offer for free, like it could be a PDF download, like it could be a pattern or something, in exchange for someone's email address. So you know, you the magnet is that they're attracted to that. They give you their email address, they get their free item, and then you've got their email address to build into your list. So that's that. And so that marketing, I thought, oh, that's very handy. And then today, um, I had a look at what it would, what it offers me for just promotion online. Like you know, so I put in, yeah, ah. Oh, what give me ads for this event so the details of the event give me some ads okay great there's 10 there's the text for 10 ads I don't love it all um I would change it so it sounds more like me it it, it is a bit generic but it's a start and then I wrote now advertise this one and then I said give me suggestions for images to use on Instagram um and it just gave me a list of ideas so oh yeah. It, will it give you the image or just a list of No, it just gives you the image. Well, I just said good oh. ideas. It doesn't give you the images, but just just so give you ideas. Canva has this function that you can put um text into it's like a it creates an image, an AI like it's a it's an AI mm. thing as well. So yeah. you could copy and paste that text into Canva and it would generate the image for you. There you, oh, see, there you go. Looking at this um, automation or this type of automation stuff is really interesting, especially mm-hmm. in, a, in a small business like ours where, you mm-hmm. know, I have very limited time and it's just me. I can't afford to um, employ somebody to do this stuff for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I have to live and learn as I, you know, as I do it myself and, and find the time. So anything that prompt that can prompt me and give me a little bit of bit more headspace um, is certain, it's just a start you know it's yeah. it's just a really good start and um, yeah it just reminds me of things so I'm all for chat GPT in in that right sort of context mm-hmm. um, and like I said it, it depends entirely on the prompt you give it and and how much information you give it but it's worth having a look at for sure well, that's so awesome I'm definitely going to go and explore that I think um, yeah while you know you and I we've been part of incubator programs or you're currently doing one mm-hmm. now and you know we got a lot of um, I got a lot of guidance about what to do but sometimes you do forget those really simple 
things and so it's good to have a plan as well because you get up and you're like oh I've got 50 million things to do what should I do and then maybe having a plan you just kind of start with that and march your way through it and then the tagline thing is great the advertising I mean it's hard to write copy so or you can get sort of weighed down with trying to write the perfect ad so you know like you say you can you know there any one of them is okay they're not amazing but you save yourself yeah. all this time. You can move on and do something else. That's right. And I could I could line up six or seven because I've just, yeah. you know, we were talking a bit before about the, the beast that is social media and the, and it needs constant feeding and stuff. And I could yeah. just line up six of those. Sure, they're not the most perfect, but they're good enough. They keep the feed going and they keep eyes on those those ads and posts and things like that. So, look, why not? Um, and, yeah. you know, then that leaves time for maybe some more special ones mm. that, that are more my you know, the, the way I would write or, you know, yeah. that, that sort of stuff as well. So, yeah, definitely, definitely worth um, worth a go there. So, so um, like, I don't even know how to access this. Do I, is there a website or is it an app or yeah, what do I, how do I use it? You go to chat. <laughs> dot, chat dot talking about dot com. Hey? Everyone's been talking about it. I just don't even know how to access it. <laughs> You just go to, well, you could just Google chat GPT, but just go, it's chat.openai.com. Oh, cool. And, yep, that's it. And then you lo- log in with your Gmail account or, you know, it asks you to log in and create an account, yep. but it's free. It's free. Um, it, it does stop sometimes. Like it says, no, there's too many users on right now. I can't access the whatever no you way. need. <laughs> um, but the good thing is like, if you've got to put, if you put something in and you don't like the response it's given, and sometimes you won't, there's a little button that says generate, you know, regenerate response. So you just press that and it does it all again. And it just lines up the second or third or fourth or fifth response, mm. you know, because I did it on oh, a beautiful thing I used it for. This is not knitting related, but, you know, at school, I got, you know, some information about um, something we were studying in class. And then I got uh, from chat GPT. And then I got it. And then I said, now rewrite this for an adult who has low literacy levels. And it just, it wrote me a, a simpler version. Oh my I God. It, the amount of time. And it, again, not perfect, a little bit simplistic in some areas. Okay, no problem. Um, but then but you're just editing, you're not having to write it. Yeah. And the amount of time that mm. you know, all of this sort of stuff saves. So I think it saves time. And especially for those who get anxiety about the um, the blank page. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It, it can be really quite helpful. Mm. Um, so sorry, I've got a small dog who wants to share his opinions with the world. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, it's okay. We can edit yeah. it out. <laughs> uh, yeah, so so that's been the adventure and, um, you know, it, well worth using as a tool, having a, as that as a tool in the back pocket. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing that. Um, yeah. Should we go to the book? Oh, yeah, we can go to the book. Yeah. Um, I got this gorgeous book from a friend of mine for Christmas. Um, she knows me quite well. It's called, I'll try to get it there. That's showing up. We have all. to, nah, can't say. We've got to try to resolve this issue. We do this every week. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It's so what I should do. I should get a photo of it and just show it up on the screen in future. That's, yes, let's yeah. do that because this is a little bit crazy, isn't it? But that is gorgeous. What a cool book. Yeah, it's a gorgeous little like gift type book. It's called Knit Along. So it's very relevant to Yarn Trail Victoria because it's celebrating the tradition of knitting together. Mm-hmm. And each chapter has, um, you know, it's about uh, a little bit about the history of knit alongs. Um, and then, oh, hang on, what are, there were some lovely ideas here that I was going to have a look at um, to show you. I just have to get to the right page. Um, so, you know, just about hanging out, knitting cafes and stuff. And then the next session is, Um, section is remembering and knitting as character reform knitting in war and peace like you know those types of things then finding your voice in knitting um, and growing along so challenging knit knit along challenge knit along sorry Mm. collaborative knit alongs all these types of things and it's just this lovely idea and then it's got again like any good knitting book full of patterns full Mm. of patterns Um, but then also this lovely um, bit at the back about chapter six is about doing it yourself so things to keep in mind if you want to do your own knit along and um, or as I might do later in this year for Yarn Trail Victoria, a yarn along. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and I loved in the back, particularly there were uh, words of wisdom in the back here about, about knit alongs and, you know, keep keep it personal, but set it up so that 
a, a good knit along apparently leaves everyone feeling like they're a winner. Like no matter what yeah. level you are at with yeah. your um, knitting, you can you can come away from this experience um, with everybody feeling like they've achieved something. Sort oh, of gorgeous. But I just think I love that idea. I think that yeah. that would be in some ways challenging depending on what you're trying to achieve but yeah. in other ways a really good thing so and be prepared that people will take your idea and build on it and make it better um you know and just just those sorts of things so lots of lovely ideas and a bit of history about um knitting as you know as a community so it's, it's lovely That's good I, yeah. like it. I like the sound of that yeah oh, i have to get a copy for myself now <laughs> <laughs> we do we just need to my library, 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 don't we? Which is yeah, you need to co-locate our libraries because I've got all these lovely books. And but every time you share a new book, I'm like, oh, I want that too. <laughs> yeah, I've got to have that one. I want to see all the pictures in that one. <laughs> I got the um uh the uh, rebel knit one that you the alternate sort. Oh, alternate rebellion. Uh, yeah, I had to get that because that looked too cool. I had to have. Oh, one. how yeah. nice is it? It's yeah, so it's... fun. It's yeah. beautiful and it's the so colorful fun. and yeah. Yeah. yeah, I want to knit something from it, but I can't decide what yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just love that it's got all those um the, the the motifs at the back that you then shows you how to do it yourself. You can entirely make up your own mm. rebel knit. It's really cool. It's so fun. yeah, it yeah. is fun. That's yeah. in, that's in last season, guys. If you missed that episode, yeah. <laughs> I don't know which one. You just have to watch them all. <laughs> all of them, everyone. Just binge it. Like just binge it. You know, that's fine. <laughs> All right, chicken time. The chicken is here. The chicken has something to say, everyone. The chicken has something to say. So, you know, being being in women in in small business, we often talk about, um, you know, well, we we talk about lots of things, don't we, Prue? But we're talking about how to build up our businesses. But I think we also need to talk about how to build build up each other and build up other women, and and you know how we talk about ourselves and how we frame all of that stuff. And and the chicken wants to say tonight. The chicken wants to say, well, she gives you gives us all a piece of advice. She says, "Tackle like you just laid an egg. The world needs your fanfare." So, and I think it's. You know, when, when chickens have laid an egg, they tend to cackle a lot, like it's the best thing they've ever did. And yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, that's great, love. Um, but yeah, we we need to do that, you yeah. know, not not be afraid of doing that. So you know, and it's everyone has it. The more like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think so I think so. Just you know, we're it's doing a bit too cool for school and being like, oh, you know, it's not a big deal. But really, we should celebrate every <laughs> little win. I think, yeah. Every but little win is telling us, <laughs> and and every little and every little, you know, and even every little doubt, because everyone has them, you know. Everyone gets imposter syndrome or worries about things, and you know, if we can, but then, yeah, also cackling when we do get it right, like yeah. you know, just I've created a thing, and you know, I've created a thing, and I want people to come to it, and it'll be great, and you know, it'll be fun, and it'll be the start of all of this, and I made this, I created this, it's great, you know, that type of thing. So chicken wants us to do that. Just Thanks, chicken of wisdom. She's got a lot of opinions, this chicken. Anyway. She's got good ideas. She has very wise she's things to share with me. I like yeah. it. She's wise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jess, it's been another lovely evening together. Has, um, has. Or morning, wherever it is that you are at the moment. Uh, obviously, yeah. you and I were in the same time zone. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I think it's time to say. Bye. <laughs> good night everyone um we hope you got something out of that please let us know what it was or what you're thinking about taglines and slogans have you used chat gpt for your yeah. business what are you thinking of of and um if we inspire you to give it a go it'd be yeah great yeah yeah, yeah pop That'd down awesome. your um your experiments your your tagline what the G- G- what chat gpt told you is your new chat he gave you yeah it yeah. could be very funny <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Bye. See you later.